Now, question number two. What is the answer for question number two? The correct answer is option number B, which is 81.5. Now, it says there are three classes, X, Y, and Z. Okay, there are two different methods. The average of class X, so average of class X is 83. The average of class Y is 76. And the average of X and Y together is 79. So average of X and Y together is 79. So apply allegation rule. 83 minus 79 is 4 and 79 minus 76 is 3. So this gives me the ratio of the number of students in class X upon class Y. That is equal to 3 by 4. So the ratio of number of students in class X to class Y is 3 by 4. Now, the average score in class Y is 76. Okay, class Y, that is 76. In class Z, it is 85. And combining together, the average of Y and Z is nothing but that is equal to 81. So I can say 85 minus 81 is 4 and 81 minus 76, that is equal to 5. Which means the ratio of the number of students in class Y and Z is 4 by 5. Combining these two together, I can say, okay, that the ratio of x is to y is to z. The number of students, that is 3 is to 4 is to 5. Okay. So, the, what is the average for all the three classes? So, for all the three classes, I can say the answer is nothing but average 3 into 83 plus 4 into 76 plus 5 into 85 upon 3 plus 4 plus 5. That will be, comes out to be 81.5. That is the answer. Number of students 3, average score is 83. So total is 3 into 83, which is average. 4 students 76, so 4 into 76, then 5 into 85 upon 3.5. Is that clear to all of you? <coughs> you could have solved without the allegation rule also. You could have find out the averages, the ratios by making an equation, but making an equation is a time consuming, so it's better to use allegation rule and then combine them together. Can I move to the next question? 